Oh, hello. I'm here with a special guest, and I thought we'd have a little conversation about a favorite little game of ours, Stratomatic. Hello, Hal. How's it going, Joe and Adam? A very exciting time for Stratomatic. Yes, the opening day is uh, perhaps the, uh, the, one of the, one of the, the highlight of the year to meet people who've come for many, many times have come. Some people have come for, for we've had a few people who come, have been here since 1975. They make every, uh, every opening day. We, uh, except there was one opening day though where there was a blizzard and somehow 75 people made it through the blizzard. Did you grow up rooting for any particular baseball teams? I did. I, well, first of all, I was initially uh, a Dodger fan. We got some neighbors who were, uh, one was a Yankee fan, and he, uh, he influenced me greatly. Uh -huh. And uh, I also, this was 1945, I began to hear about this guy, Joe DiMaggio, coming back. So in 1946, when DiMaggio came back, they only finished third. And so I was rooting for the Yankees when they were not number one. Must make a point of that. I'm not a, you know. That's a tight window. Yeah, it was already <laughs> 47. It changed from <laughs> 47. It changed dramatically. You're right. It was a tight. It is a tight window. But uh, so at 46, uh, the Maggio came back, and, uh, and of course the Red Sox won that year, and they had the, the great Ted Williams, a man who I, I couldn't watch bad. I, mean, I, was, I was you know 10 years old. And uh, Williams threw the threw fear into my life. Oh, uh, yeah. He got up to the bat. He was a great, great hitter. Once I once I got involved with the business, though, I had to refrain from being a Yankee fan anymore <laughs> because we were based in New York, Stratomatic. I would say we were more more difficult on the ratings of the the Mets and the Yanks and the other teams because we knew more about them. So speaking of Ted Williams, I had him on my team last night. And he went 0 for 4. DiMaggio? Uh, uh, Williams. Oh, Williams. The Splendid Sorry, Splinter. Williams. Okay, Williams went 0 for 4. I had Williams go 0 for 4. I'm Nolan sure. Ryan shut him down. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had four earned runs off of uh, Nolan Ryan. Yeah. Um, I, uh, Josh Gibson drove in uh, one for... Oh, you had uh, Josh Gibson now. Uh, oh, I had Josh Gibson. I, uh, Josh Gibson drove in Ozzie Smith, who had stolen second. Uh-huh. Uh, I, uh, I had Satchel Page on the mound. Oh my goodness! It was it was we a fun two game. Two of the greatest uh, Negro League players of all time. Oh, yeah. They were a battery. Yeah. For Kansas City, and then eventually Gibson was, went joined another team, and he told Satchel, "When we face, when I face you, I'm going to get a few hits off you." And Satchel, Satchel chuckled, and they did. They finally had the confrontation, and I think Satchel struck him out every time. <laughs> he was an amazing <laughs> pitcher. We found that Satchel. Uh, eased up on the easier hitters, hmm. but when it came time to face the more more competitive hitters, he he was he was unbelievable. He held them under two hundred. Babe Ruth uh, knocked in a solo shot, which tied up the game at two. Uh, you had Gibson and Ruth on the same. I had team? Gibson and Ruth on the same team. Well, you know, Gibson was called the Black Babe Ruth, and Gibson he was extraordinary. I mean, he. Um, Played in Washington, which had a, 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 a the Washington Stadium, uh, Griffith Stadium, was impossible to hit home runs. Gibson hit more home runs by himself than the major league players did. That's how much he had. So he was such a powerhouse. It's just a shame that he was never able to demonstrate his prowess in the majors. Yeah, yeah. Page was out there. He did play a few years in the majors. We never, no one knows how old he was. I think he's still pitching. <laughs> Where he probably is. <laughs> so have you ever had an urge to create a Stratomatic game for for obscure sports? <laughs> High lie or no, curling? Abs absolutely not. The Winter Olympics are coming up. Why not a luge set? <laughs> Biathlon? Something. Well, well you know, uh, they come up. Every four years, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> so what can people who come out to opening day expect? We've got a great t-shirt. <laughs> I think they're going to find that we have a wonderful set of cards. Uh, you have, this Houston team is really something. I mean, they have a tremendous batting order, unbelievable, got excellent pitching, and they're really uh, a team, 
a team with a great future and uh, deserve to win the World Series. And of course, they have the Dodgers coming back out there with their great pitching and all, and they're hitting. So these are great teams. Hal Richmond, thank you very much. We'll see everybody at opening day. My pleasure.